Hey, uh, this is Pokeball35, and welcome back to more Omori. This is still my first ever playthrough of Omori. This is the start of stream number 6, as well as the start to episode 22 on YouTube. This is all being streamed live on twitch.tv slash Pokeball35, link in the description down below. If you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so, because I do have a lot to offer, including this full playthrough of Omori and everything else. Uh, previously, when we last left off in Omori, uh, we had done a bunch of side content and then made it to Orange Oasis. Uh, I still want to try and climb the rest of the Dino Dig site, uh, but we also uh, did like a 45 minute boss fight. I was wondering why I couldn't get behind this tree and there's a banana smoothie back here. Cool. Uh, we fought a really long boss fight related to bread. Uh, and I would like to make some more plot progress today. However, I do want to do some other side things. And while we are still in Orange Oasis, I'm going to attempt some more Dino Dig stuff. I'll probably just like cut ahead to like anything important happening in here. Because, you know, you've already seen up to, you know, one of the top floors. So unless I find something cool, I'll show that. Can I get, like, the cool spoon? Silver spoon? I do not have enough dino dollars. How do I check my dino dollars? Please, let me go! Why can I not run? My friends are dying and I'd like to go! Thanks! That's so randomly specific that I have to be standing on one tile and facing a specific direction to have that work. Howdy ho, youngins! Your mom doing me a favor? I need you to scratch an inch for me. It's on the bottom, so I can't really get to it. No, oh, it's just absolutely killing me. I'm assuming I find him inside one of the floors of the pyramid. I get to scratch his ass. So that's something. You scratched Scott's bottom. Ah, oh, much better! Alright, cool. Now do I go talk to him again? Hello, uh, Abyssal Dream. Welcome to the stream. I just scratched the dinosaur's ass. That's what you missed. Hey, you must be the kids who scratched my itch! What a huge relief! Here, take this! We actually have too many of these things. I'm sure it'll come in handy one way or another. I got a hard hat. Stay safe, kids! I can't really thank you enough! Uh, hard hats. It's not what I wanted to do. That was the wrong button. Uh, equip. Oh, he is Hector Jr. We can't get rid of Hector Jr. Uh, hero. Hard hat. More difficult than an easy hat. Six defense. Eh. Don't mind me just fooling around, just being a little silly. Okay, but this is actually good news that we can skip the first floor because then we have 20 digs to actually get all the stuff. Correct? We're going to get it on the next floor instantly. So we just walk up here and get it, right? Alright, cool. So I just want to double check that I can't like skip this. Pyramid gate needs pyramid key. Okay. So now we search for the next key. As I proceed to not get it here either. Alright, sick. Okay. 
Okay. Cold pizza. Dino melon soda. Can we please actually get it this time? And, like, live to tell the tale? Okay, I rain instantly. We take those. Do I have a, a straight shot? I do have a straight shot to this one. I wanted to try and make it back. Okay. Pyramid key, oh my god, can I finally see what's past this door? Can I finally see what's past this door? No, you're blocking the way. Stop! Let me leave! Let me go! Go, 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 go. No, nope. Not taking any fucking chances. Let me in. Pyramid key. Stop the rabbit. Fuck the rabbit. There's a chicken up here. Oh, I just want to see what else is in here. All right, well, what are you? Chicken question mark? It's like the ones on the previous floor. Uh, well, I'm angry, so I don't have any of my good moves. So I guess I'll just hit you. Uh, mash. Ricochet. Uh, smile? Alright. Fair enough. That's all that's up here. Well, I have. Th this isn't like Pokemon. I don't have like Arena Trap. I can't trap it in the room. What if I leave and come back? No. I don't know how you're supposed to, uh, beat this thing up. Does it have anything important when you beat up this particular chicken? Please stop this. There's a missable item. Okay. I'm glad I'm gonna fucking die though. Alright, well, I've seen everything in Dino Dig. We don't have to be here anymore. Uh, first thing to do here is that now that we have learned the ability to fuck these faces, not retracting that sentence, we're gonna cut through these. Traffic cones, and then Aubrey is going to smash this in. I've been curious about what's been back here for ages. I think we got Life Jam from the first one. Jam packets. I'm pretty sure all these might just be Life Jam, but we want that. And we are also now cool enough to go to the Cool Kids Club. I'm just curious if this guy has anything different in here. No. Alright. Uh, we're now cool enough to go to the Cool Kids Club on the next screen. Uh, right in here. What's this little hamster? Hamster. 
Oh, it's EMS! I forgot about your existence. I forget what voice they did for this character. Oh, hello there, hero! Hi, EMS. How you doing? I'm doing okay! Hoagie oh, sent me to the couch for timeout! Huh? You're in timeout? What did you do? Nothing! Just tried eating tables over there! What? Tried eating the tables? You can do that? Oh, I see. The tables are made of bread. I thought you only eat cheese. Don't tell anyone I said this, but it's tough being a space pirate. Well, give me my free juice. Oh, we don't even kick the space pirate out of the way. Everyone gained five juice. Uh... Yeah, I think that's it. You just get a juice buff. So we take those. Uh, and I think that's literally it to do in other world. Uh, to my understanding. I can swim now. This is correct. Hold on. Alright, well, I feel like we'll just, like, instantly kill this thing. The bit is sad, so it's a little bit tanky, but this is an older enemy. Alright, so what is this? Red Ribbon. A pretty red ribbon. A five defense, attack increases with more energy. Uh, this just gets rid of a lot of Aubrey's speed, but that's probably good. Uh, and you have the cat ears, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll try the red ribbon. Uh, I don't know. Oh, we, while I'm here, I may as well actually go spend my uh, snow cone ticket. Cause that's just down this away. The one screen. Actually, wait, wasn't there a ghost here too? Actually, I needed to be here. I forgot. There's a ghost here. <laughs> this doesn't look right. I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. What's this? A map? Oh my, it even has top hat seal. Now I'll be able to get to the party. Thank you, children. I almost go. I'm already behind schedule as it is. Uh, hello, Jash. I'm Jash of many talents and master of many trades. How can I help you today? Uh, how do I spend the snow gun ticket? Uh, from the machine? Okay, here we go. Doka machine dispensed the snow cone. Recycling machine dispensed the cell phone. What kind of cell phone? Uh, absolutely indestructible. Uh, 10 defense. That cell phone? That cell phone is better than the hard hat. Okay, so first thing, we already did this, but now that we have the ability to smash faces. We can go in here. I watered Basil's plants a couple times. More, more jam packets. Alright, so this is just, you know, jam over this way. Uh, it seems like Basil's flowers need watering constantly, so I'll go back for them eventually. Uh, but now that we're back here, uh, there's things here that we need to do. I don't remember which screen everything was on, so we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, there was a guy over here. I don't think I have this person's thing yet. Yeah, I... Don't have that yet. I think it was up here. Uh, this person. Oh, that's my teddy bear! You gave the teddy bear to Kendall. <laughs> oh, 
I'm so happy to have you back, Teddy. Thank you for returning him to me. Here's a small gift for you. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Rubber duck. Come on, Teddy, what should we play first? Oh, I know, would you like a cup of tea? As it walks into the seat. Uh, rubber duck. Uh, a cute rubber duck doesn't like you very much. Plus seven defense. The rubber duck has more defense than the hard hat. Uh, was there anything over here? I think we got everything in this room. Uh, we can actually fight that bear now, but also I can swim. Is there anything for me to do? There's a secret behind the waterfall. Best game, best game. Oh, we have a uh, club. Sick. <laughs> Rarest bear. <laughs> the cruel twist of fate. I lost my entire family in a day. Curses. If only I was stronger. Ah, Ruben. I'll take uh, one more drink for my sorrows. Come right up, Max. Uh, should we tell him? I don't think we can tell him. Everyone gained five juice. See you later. Alright, back at Sprout Mall. Village. Hello? Pessy. I love Sweetheart! So much so that I have acquired tickets to the most prestigious Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts event. Although I was unable to uh, obtain an ultra rare impossible uh, to attain front row ticket, my reputation, my, re my reputable salesman has assured me that my ticket will still seat me in a prime location. He's also assured me that the event will start very, very soon. So I have been waiting here for it in line for many, many hours. Hmm. I wonder if we should tell him. I'm sure that any moment the event will begin and I will be guided to my seat by none other than the Sweetheart herself. Now, as I am the truest Sweetheart fan, I could not even think of coming to the event without my most precious thing. Take a look at my beautiful... What is this? It's missing? No, my most precious thing. I will not be able to attend my dream event without it. You four, since you are undoubtedly lesser sweetheart fans, I must ask you to find my precious thing and return it to me. You'll know it when you see it. Oh! <laughs> Well, I don't have it, so I don't know where it would be. Uh, is the hole in the floor still there? <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, we now want to go back down this way. Jash. Thanks, Jash. Just that uh, you don't really need to be here right now. I will buy three mango smoothies, though. Wait. Oh? This is not what I came here for. You're new. La Gasp! Could it be? Ah, finally. Some company. I've been alone for so long, but after what feels like an eternity, at last, I have an audience. Who am I, you ask? Why, I'm the great and up-and-coming artist, Rakoko. This guy's kind of weird. Let's get out of here. 
Wait, don't go. Please listen to my story. Excuse us? Please listen, I'm so lonely! <clears throat> right. Now where should I start? In the beginning it was me, crying in a pod in the middle of space. Witnessing my home planet blow up right before my eyes. Was that me killing the Earth? Don't tell him. I can still remember it all so vividly. Fire. Fire. Everywhere. And then darkness. When I awoke, I found myself in the middle of a desert, surrounded by a sea of brown sugar in a strange land I soon learned to be called Orange Oasis. Even as a baby, I knew I was a sole survivor of my species, the last elf in the entire universe. So, this is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in a stroke of luck, I found I was found by none other than a young donut with this name of Sweetheart. Aw, uh, well, don't. I mean... Did she lock you in the dungeon? She brought me in her, uh, to her family, and they took me in as one of their own. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. It was a rough childhood. We fought frequently, but she would always win. If I fought back, well... Anyway, I learned to run! And I got quite good at running, but there's only, uh, so far you can run. Yes, it was a hard time, but even though that suffering, uh, I had stood firm, because even then I knew everything had a purpose. I was sent to this planet and survived for one reason and one reason only, to repopulate my entire species. Uh... Uh, there's a copious, uh, gap in my memory after this, so I'll fast forward a few years. <laughs> At some point, Sweetheart and I fell deeply in love, became engaged, and moved to this giant castle together. We were inseparable, her and I, and we loved each other dearly. I would do anything for her, and I mean anything. I was ready to spend my- the rest of our lives together, to grow old, and raise hundreds upon hundreds of children. Thinking about it now, I wonder if uh, I ever made that clear to her. I mean, she's got four holes, so alas, all good times must come to an end. As Sweetheart's fanbase grew, she and I grew apart as well. She began receiving gifts and letters from suitors from all over the universe asking for a chance to prove their love to her. Being her one true love, I was, uh, vehemently against this notion, but she wouldn't have it. Sweetheart is for sharing, she would say. Ah. <laughs> so one night I was asleep. Sweetheart and her servants tied me up and sealed me inside the walls of her castle. I have been wandering aimlessly through the darkness inside the walls ever since, surviving off of old toast and tofu. Surprisingly, Mike Moore? I haven't yet. Fast forward a few more years, and that brings us to now. Yes, you four are the first living things I have seen since that fateful day. <laughs> wow, sir, that's really uh, a shocking story. Oh, sweetheart, why did you do it? Was I not good enough for you? Well, sorry about everything. We're gonna go now. Wait, I'm not finished yet! <sighs> the last few years, I've had a long time to think. Kinda gave up on my dreams on all that stuff now. It all seems to, uh, so far and pointless. So, I've decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. Since I'm just starting out, I suppose I can give you all a discount. For my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge 1,000 clams. Well, 
What do you guys think? A thousand times is kind of a steep, kind of steep, isn't it? Please commission me! We will think about it. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, of course. Do take your time. I will stand right here until then. Well, I didn't know this was here, but this is definitely a thing that is currently happening. For my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge you 1,000 clams. Have you decided to assist me in my journey of self-discovery? Le Magnificent! Please return after some more ad adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. Alright, well, see you. The die won't disappoint you! Alright, well, see you later. Uh, we're gonna go do the thing that I actually came here to do. Uh, we need to go this way. And we need to go into this room. Because in this room, there is a ghost. Oh dear, it seems that I've gotten myself lost again. Oh, how clumsy of me. Oh my, what is this? A map to Sir Top Hat's party? Why, indeed it is. I must hurry to the party now. Being late is unbe unbefitting a princess. Yes. Wait, there's a hole here, too. I actually didn't remember that this was here. We can do this, too! Jam packets? Jam packets. Uh, that's not all the ghosts, is it? Uh, I have one more ghost to find. Does anyone have any idea where the last ghost is? Because I feel like I should know that, but I don't. Uh, does this guy have something? You don't hear that guy Pessy drop something valuable, right? Something precious, perhaps. I was able, might be able to help you out with that. This guy seems awfully shady. What's the catch? Shady mole. <clears throat> As you may already know, these brat moles are very intelligent and high on high functioning creatures. The smartest of us, uh, of all of us, the mayor is creating a device that will help sprout moles do their work at a much higher capacity than was previously possible. <laughs> a fabled device of legend that, when complete, uh, will entirely revolutionize the modern world. He calls it the B E D. The bed. What do you want that for? Hey, no questions. Get me a bed first, and then we'll talk. A bed, huh? That seems simple enough. I kill, I don't know. He seems awfully untrustworthy. Maybe we should give him, give him a bed and see what happens. If you think so, hero. Something about him really rubs me the wrong way. Uh, I do not remember where the mayor is located, so... Uh, was it down here? Class! Where in the world is my good-for-nothing son? Last night I asked him to analyze, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> asked I to ask him to analyze the effects of my latest invention, the bed, and I'm longing to hear the results. I hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. Okay, well, who's your son? What is he doing in the bed? Is this a Sprout Mole fetch quest where I'm supposed to go to every single Sprout Mole in the entire village? Sure is. Those trainings made me so hungry. I really wish I had some tofu right now. Oh, thank you for the tofu. I really needed that. In return, here's my most prized position. Please take care of it. Big air horn. Well, that's not the right guy. Oh, here we go. Use the big air horn on the sleepy mole. Oh, well, it was still plot important. <laughs> Who are you? 
Oh no, I'm late. Could it be that I... Hair in my mouth. No! I must have overslept. But sprout moles don't oversleep. This bed, it's powerful. Maybe even too powerful. I better tell dad about this. I already did the joke book stuff. I just wanted to read it again because it was funny. Dad, Dad, I'm here. Why the gods, son? Where have you been? I, I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, son? You know you can tell me anything. Last night while I was testing the bed, I, 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 I overslept. No, it can't be! Uh, but if you, what you said is true, then... All my research, this invention, the bed, it's all too powerful. You see, my theory was that a bed would help Sprout Malls gain good night's rest and thus gain pr productivity uh, throughout the day, but... What good is it if the very same invention causes Sprout Malls to lose productivity instead? It has the potential for greatness, but the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world, lest our humble village might never wake up again. Hey, you there, child. Take this bed away from us. We have no need for such power. Well, that was easy. Now be gone and speak not of what you saw here today. Okay, well now I can go do this. Do my eyes deceive me? I don't believe it. It's a bed. A real, genuine, bona fide bed. I'm gonna use it right this second. Hey, what are you doing? We helped you, so you should help us. Whoa, 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 what's with all the attitude? I may not seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. Now. You didn't hear this from me, but earlier, I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a big pink bow digging through uh, Pessy's pockets. A sprout mole with a pink, big pink bow? That sounds like Rosa! The uh, Menace Rosa's at- The Menace Rosa's at it again! Come on, Amori, we gotta make her hand over Pessy's thing no matter what. No, I don't want to see Rosa. Also, what do you mean, pockets? <clears throat> I There was a, a hydrate request earlier, but I was reading and forgot about it. <clears throat> Rosa, the jig is up! Why are you here? I'm angry, go away! Thanks to you, my dear sweetheart ran away with the blasted Captain Space Boy! Again! Oh, sweetheart was only a few doors away, but now she's flown galaxies away. How will I follow her now? Do I look like I can fly to you? I don't know if that was really our fault. Rosa, we know you stole Pessy's thing, now give it back. This again! Why are you always after my sweetheart merchandise? I found it fair and square, so... It's Finders Keepers! Don't worry, guys. Let me handle this. Hey, Rosa. Why don't you and I try to work something out? Ew! No, I don't want to hear it! There's no way that I'm giving you my most valuable new, ad a new uh, addition to my collection. Now get her to my house! All right, well. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Do I go back to talk to Pessy? Do I go talk to What's-His-Face? I talk to What's-His-Face. 
<laughs> oh, it's being difficult again, huh? Figures, she's always like that. Here, take this and show it to her. There's no way she would refuse you after seeing this. <laughs> I caught blackmail. Oh, okay. Now leave me in my new bed alone. Our business is done here. Blackmail contains details of Rose's dark past. Step aside, guys. I'll deal with her. Wait, Kel. It's true that Rosa is a real pain, but I have some serious issues with using blackmail as a means to- Hey, Rosa! Check this out! Where did you get that? I've changed my mind! Please, kind sir, I'll give you anything you want! Just politely hand over the blackmail at once! Oh, yes! You want Pessy's thing, right? Fine, whatever. Take it. It's yours. Now give me that blackmail. How are you gonna do it? Trade the blackmail for Pessy's thing. I'm gonna need you to get out of my house. You already got what you needed, didn't you? I was scram! Scram, I say! Alright, chill. Get me out of here! I don't want to be in Sproutmore Village anymore. Oh, you found it, my precious thing! Thank you. I say, thank you. I say again. In return for your selfless deed, I bestow upon you the ultimate gift. I got a sweetheart bust. Yeah, I'm about her. Ah, uh, isn't it beautiful? May it fill you with joy for the rest of your days. It sure will. Uh, equip. Sweetheart bust. <laughs> A bust of sweetheart. It's really heavy. Like, really, really heavy. <laughs> it is... Mine is a little bit of heart. My speed goes to one, but Aubrey's attack uh, goes all the way up. So she's just gonna be moving last every turn, but I mean, she's already got the sweetheart body pillow equipped. So like, what's the difference, you know? Ghosts. Here I am alone as a clam. A one time been invited to a party and I don't know where it is. Oh, I don't believe it. It's a map to Top Hat's party. You're a real lifesaver, do you know that? I'd better hurry. It sounds like it's gonna be a blast. That should be the last ghost, and now we can go all the way back. Is I do want to make one quick pit stop at the last resort. Uh, did I do the side quests in the big TV? I don't know what you're talking about off the top of my head, so I don't know for sure. Also, what the fuck? Hey, it's you again. You're the one who gave us the blackmail for Rosa. What do you want now? Shady Mole. Up to no good again, I presume? <gasps> you must understand me, child. If anything, I am uh, more than a good Samaritan type character. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Here, I'll even prove it to you. What does Shady Mold tell you incredibly helpful and vital information that could change your life? I think not. Okay, we're listening. Glad I got your attention. Now, word around here is that clams will soon be obsolete and be replaced with a new and better currency called... Clams. <laughs> According to my trustworthy, trustworthy sources, this change could, uh, can potentially happen at any time and will render all of your clams completely worthless. You wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Well, like, yeah, that would really suck, right? 
But here's the kicker. Since I heard about this, uh, I've been secretly stocking up on a new and valuable currency called Clems. Being a good Samaritan that I am, I will gladly trade uh, them all to you in exchange for your clams. <laughs> wow, really? You do that for us? Kel, don't listen to him. This is beyond shady. This is criminal. But Aubrey, didn't you hear him? They're about to replace all clams with clams. <laughs> what are we gonna do when we have no money? What do you think, Amori? Should we exchange all our clams for clams? <laughs> no. Why do you want to keep your outdated clams? Clams are on the way of the future. You must reconsider. No, I'm good. I wanted to go buy some life jam. I'm gonna go talk to him. And he's gonna be like, oh, you don't have any clems. Wait, I don't know who you people are. We decided to come here on our honeymoon because they offered us a- offered a free room and luxury resort experience. Luxury my butt! This place is uh, shoddy as it gets. I can already see the paint coming off the walls. Honestly, I don't mind this place at all. It's not bad at all for being free, even if the kiddie pool outside is haunted. <laughs> hey yo, lamb and wolf. You could say the lamb's about to get it ate. I'm life jam guy. I sell life jam. It really works. Okay, thank God it still says clams. Okay. It's now a party. Huzzah! The feast is saved! Now, let the festivities begin! We get to do a little dance. It's cute. <laughs> You're not gonna say anything else? My good men, you have my eternal gratitude. Do enjoy this gift from me. Top hat. Let's go. Top hats. I can pay attention. Am I stupid? Don't answer that. We have hard hat. Top hat. Uh, hope it's not haunted. It's 13 defense, 13 luck, 13 heart. Bruh. all of Hero's speed. I don't- I do think I want Hero to be speedy, because he's the healer. Um, but I don't know who to give that hat to. I was like, I don't want to get rid of Hector Jr. off of Kel. I hope that the attack drop here is worth everything else. We get the top hat. What a magnificent celebration. It's all thanks to you and that, that this is possible. Please accept this offer for me. Oh, good thing I decided to talk to the other, uh, the other ghosts here. 
fruit and juice? Gee willikers, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> Big rubber band. Thank you, children, that I'm at this party. It's just much easier to, to enjoy the afterlife. Oh, you gave me free life jam. We take those. Dead batteries. I don't want to go recycle right now. A waffle. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm a Josh of many talents and master of many trades. Yeah, you can buy these things here. But I think we are fine. Do I want to exchange all my clams for clams? Yup. Excellent. You won't regret this. Thank you all for your clams. Now, here are some clams in exchange. I got clams, the currency of the future. <laughs> oh, Mori, why did you agree with Kel? I'm pretty sure this isn't even real money. Please enjoy your clams. I now must go eight others who are in need of clams. Toodles. Clems. The currency of the future. <laughs> okay, here we go. Eek! <laughs> Why is it playing the frickin' Maximus music right now? I don't want to hear this song again. <laughs> Just, <laughs> it's a good song, but like... Come on, I don't... I don't need a, a, a fifth Maximus fight, you know? Yeah, right in the heart. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Um. Please don't squish him, Marie. No! Kill does a fancy ball trick! Get out of here! 5,000 XP and tofu. No more, go to level 27. Here, go to level 26. I found my stolen clams! I didn't get an achievement for that. <laughs> I just killed a guy for no reason. I did this whole side quest and he stole my clams and I, then I killed him. <laughs> what a good ending.